Hello and welcome back to Algebra. We are in section 1.5, equations with variables on both sides. All right, let's start out with a little bit of geometry. Okay, here we've got a couple of shapes and we are told that these have the same perimeter. Remember, perimeter is where we add up all of the sides. So we can say the perimeter of this one is equal to the perimeter of this one. Now we add up all the sides, that means we'll do 5 plus x plus 5 plus 2 plus x plus 2. That's the perimeter of this one going all the way around. And that is equal to the perimeter of the other shape, 3 plus 3 over 2x plus 5 plus Four. Now, is that all of it? Careful. Remember here I did the perimeter. 5, x, 5, 2, x, 2. Okay, I started here. 3, 3 and a half x, 5, 4. Have I gotten all the way around? What am I missing? How long is this? This is 5 minus 3. So I can figure that out, or I can say that's 2. All right, plus 2. How long is this part? Well, that part is 4, 3 and a half x minus 4. So this is plus 3 and a half x minus 4. All right, this is 3 and a half x, the whole length, minus 4. All right, so now we combine like terms. We've got 1x here, 1x there, gives us 2x. 5, 5, 2, 2, 10, and 4 gives us 14 is equal to 3, 5 makes 8, plus 2 is 10, plus 4 is 14, minus 4 is 10. 10, 3 over 2x plus 3 over 2x gives us 6 over 2x. All right. Now I can simplify 6 over 2x to give me 3. So I have 2x plus 14 is equal to 10 plus 3x. I have a variable term on each side, so I'm going to subtract the smaller one, minus 2x. Since I'm canceling out the variable on this side, I'm going to cancel out the constant on this side. So minus 10 there, minus 10 here. This was a 14. There we go. And that gives me 4 equals 1x. So x is 4. I could find the perimeter by plugging that back in up here. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 14 is 22, if they are asking for the perimeter. All right, composite figures are made up of more than one figure or shape. So here we have a triangle and a rectangle. Each figure has the unusual property that its perimeter in feet is equal to the value of its area in square feet. Okay, so we can say P is equal to A. So the perimeter, again, is adding up around the outside. So the perimeter is 5 plus 5 plus 1 plus X plus 1 is equal to the area of a rectangle is 1 times X. So that area is X plus the area of the triangle is one-half base times the height. So that's a half x, one-half x times 3. All right, so now let's simplify. 5 and 5 is 10, plus 1 and 1 is 12, plus x is equal to... 1 half times 3 is 3 over 2x, so x plus 
3 half x. Now, I could combine these two, or I see here that it's easier if I just subtract an x from each side. Subtract x from each side, then this cancels out and this cancels out. I'm left with 12 is equal to 3 over 2x. Two ways I can get rid of this. Divide by 3 over 2, which means multiply by its reciprocal. So times 2 thirds times 2 thirds. That cancels out the 2's and the 3's. Or I could have just multiplied by the denominator and then divided by, the, by 3. 3 and 12 can be simplified, gives me 4 here. 4 times 2 is 8, so x equals 8. Okay, if you're solving an equation with variables on both sides, eliminate the variable term on one side. So pick a side, eliminate the variable term. Here's my tip. Eliminate the smaller variable term because it's going to leave you with a positive variable term. So I'm going to subtract 2x. 2x from each side, this cancels out. Negative 6 is equal to, uh, sorry, 1x. 1x plus 2. Now we want to get the variable by itself, so subtract 2 from each side. This cancels out, and we get negative 8 equals 1x, or x. If you like writing it the other way around, you can. Symmetric property of equality allows you to do that. Over here, eliminate one of these. Now notice that the x term is already by itself over here. Even though this is the smaller one, I'm going to eliminate the 4x because the x term is already by itself. So plus 4x, and that gives me 10, is equal to negative 5x. Now I need to divide by negative 5, divide by negative 5 on each side, and that gives me x is negative 2. All right, solving an equation with grouping symbols. Distributive property, ladies and gentlemen. Multiply by both terms, so 9x minus 3 times 4 is 12, or 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Multiplying with a fraction is not as hard as you might think. Just if it's a whole number, just multiply by the top. So you get 32 over 4, x, and then 1 fourth times 56 is 56 over 4. Not 4. Now, we simplify this down. 9x minus 12 carries down. And 32 divided by 4 is 8x. 56 divided by 4 is 14. I said eliminate the smaller. That's my recommendation. You don't have to, but if you do, you end up with a positive variable term. That cancels out. We get 1x minus 12 is equal to 14. Add 12 to each side. And x is equal to 26. Okay, sometimes there might be a different number of solutions. Let's first define a solution is a value for a variable that makes the equation true. All right, let's look at this one right here. Distributive property tells me 3 times 5, 15x, 3 times 2, 6 is equal to 15x. Now we have to eliminate a variable term, so we'll pick one. I recommend usually the smaller one, but there isn't a smaller one right now, so I'm just going to do 15. So minus 15x. Okay, this cancels out 6. Please don't make the mistake that you say this is nothing and the answer is 6. There is still an equal sign that doesn't disappear. 15 minus 15 is not nothing, it is 0. Okay, so 6 equals 0. Is that true? This is not true. 6 does not equal 0. So if you get a statement like this that's not true, there's no value you can plug in for the variable here to make this statement true. We call that no solution. You can call it a null set or an empty set. Write it like this or a no solution sign. Okay, that's true. If there's a statement like this, 6 equals 0, which is not true, 
then we say it's no solution. All right, let's do this one. Negative 2 times 4y is negative 8y. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 equals 8y minus 2. You might be able to see where we're going with this. Plus 8y on each side. This cancels out, and now it says negative 2 equals negative 2. Okay, this is not no solution because this statement is true. That means no matter what I plug in here for the variable, it's going to be true. This has infinite solutions. We call this an identity. An identity has infinite solutions. So if the statement is true, negative 2 is equal to negative 2, and there's no more variable, that's an identity. No matter what you plug in for the variable, it's always going to be true. All right, one last example here. This one's a little tricky. Here we have a boat leaving New Orleans, traveling upstream to up on the Mississippi River for four hours. The return trip, so we're going back to where we started, is only 2.8 hours because it traveled three miles per hour faster due to the current. How far does the boat travel upstream? Okay, first let's uh, let's establish that this is a return trip, a round trip. So upstream is equal to downstream, downstream. Okay, so the distance traveled here is equal to the distance there. All right, so now we are going to use the formula distance equals rate over time. Okay, so distance, I'm going to replace that with rate over time. So rate over time going upstream should be equal to rate over time going downstream because it's the same distance. Okay, now our rate here will be multiplied by 4, because we traveled upstream for 4 hours. This is miles per hour. This is miles per hour, so we do this times 2.8 on this side. Now, our rate here was 3 miles faster than the rate going up, so we have to take that rate plus 3, because it's that much per hour. 3 miles per hour faster. All right. So now we can solve this. This is per one hour. So this is, we'll call this x over one hour times four is equal to x plus three over one hour times 2.8. We can cancel out the hour because this is hours here. And then we can find the distance. This is miles here and miles. So. There we go. x times 4, or 4x miles, is equal to 2.8x plus 8.4. Subtract 2.8 from each side, 2.8x. And we get 1.2x is equal to 8.4. Divide by 1.2, 1.2, I hope you can read some of that, and x is equal to 7. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. What was to be shown has been shown. That is section 1.5, equations with variables on both sides. Seven miles.